Anaplasia is the term used when there is complete lack of cellular differentiation in tumours. Sometimes it may be possible to make a definite diagnosis of tumour type because the anaplastic area is part of a pre-existing differentiated tumour, for example a bladder cancer. Diagnostic difficulties of course arise if there are no differentiated areas, in which case techniques such as immuno have to be resorted to. This is an example of anaplastic change in a urothelial carcinoma. The malignant cells are undifferentiated and pleomorphic. If we didn't know this was part of a urothelial carcinoma, it would be impossible to say what sort of tumour it is without doing some further studies. So, anaplasia may be part of a poorly differentiated tumour, but there are a few specific tumours that are always anaplastic. In addition, anaplastic change implies aggressive behaviour. There are a number of anaplastic tumours that are recognised specific entities. Two of the best known ones are anaplastic large cell lymphoma and anaplastic thyroid carcinoma or anaplastic thyroid cancer. This is the gross appearance of an anaplastic carcinoma of the thyroid. The tumour is a solid white area involving the majority of the gland. And this is the accompanying histology showing sheets of anaplastic cells with no evidence of differentiation to thyroid follicles or other recognisable cell types. This is an example of anaplastic large cell lymphoma. And this is a high power view of the tumour. You can see that the nuclei are pleomorphic that means they are very varied in size and shape. And the other thing is that there are lots of mitotic figures. That is a feature of anaplastic tumours and anaplastic areas of tumours, indicative of rapid growth and aggressive behaviour.